by to start the main engine helium perch sequence, preparing for main engine start activities. And now we'll be checking the flight controls on the orbiter, the aerial surface uh, profile test. The vehicle will go to uh, internal power in about 10 seconds. Figure out TC to verify here reconfiguration complete. Yes, sir, that is complete. Thank you. Coming up on T minus 3 minutes 23 seconds, we're now gimbling three main engines, checking their steering capability. Next activity will be to pressurize the liquid oxygen tank on the external tank at T minus 2 minutes 55 seconds. And we'll start the retraction of the Gox beanie cap. DLT OTC has got a clear caution warning memory and verify no unexpected errors. Captain what? Topping off of the fuel cells being terminated. Caution and warning, memory clear, non-expected errors. I copy flight two. You have to go to close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow, and enjoy your on-orbit spring break. Roger that, sir. We'd like to say thanks to everybody who has got Columbia and us ready to fly. TLS is go for ET, LA2, pressurization. Pressurizing the hydrogen tank on the external tank now. Replenishing the liquid hydrogen tank has been terminated. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. Standing by now to arm the sound suppression water system. T minus one minute. Solid rocket booster joint heater is being turned off. Final check now of the booster commands. Locks and LH2 fill and drain valves are closed. Payload bay vent doors are positioned. Standing by to hand off to Columbia's computers. TLS is go for auto sequence start. And the handoff has occurred. Computer is now confirmed. 20. Firing chain is on. The suppression water system activated. And the safety system is on. 5, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, and lift off of Space Shuttle Columbia with the Microgravity Science Laboratory. He takes with Space Shuttle Columbia.
Columbia, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. Columbia's three main engines now back at full throttle, all systems on board in good shape. Columbia speed now 1,500 miles per hour, altitude 12 miles, 9 miles east of the Kennedy Space Center. One and a half minutes since liftoff, Columbia has already used more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at launch. One minute to 55 seconds since liftoff. Flight controller standing by next to a few seconds for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Booster officer confirms good separation of the solid rockets. Columbia, performance is nominal. Copy, performance nominal. That call indicating that Columbia's performance thus far is just as planned. Altitude now 34 miles. Columbia is traveling 3,000 miles per hour, 42 miles east of the Kennedy Space Center. This uh, view from uh, the Kennedy Space Center now showing Columbia as it approaches. Columbia's range to touchdown now 68 miles. Actually, uh, 30, 38 miles. Speed uh, 790 miles per hour, altitude 56,000 feet. The vehicle's been at about 1G for the past minute or so as it flew basically a straight line to hack intercept. Now as it rolls onto the hack, uh, the G level will increase a little bit. It'll be about one, Columbia, one and a half Gs. Copy on at the 180. To the deconditioned bodies of the astronauts, that one and a half Gs feels more like around three or four Gs uh, had they been in condition. Columbia is now performing a right uh, overhead turn to align with the runway with uh, 150 degrees left to go in that turn. Columbia's altitude 19,500 feet. Speed uh, 425 miles per hour. The mechanics officer reports landing gears down and locked. Main gear touchdown. The drag chute deploy. Nose gear touchdown. Columbia, welcome home. Your landing and deorbit look great. No post-landing deltas. Copy that, Don. Thank you. 